And he just ruined his net. Look, he's just ruining his net. He's tearing his net up. Check this out. All right, guys, we are at the Fort DeSoto Pier. So it is 7 a.m. The park just opened. They just opened the gates for us. And uh, we're going to get out there and see if we can't get on some fish. We got anglers already heading out. I'm excited to get out there and see what we can't catch ourselves. You guys stay tuned and let's go catch some fish. Let's go fishing. All right, we're all paid up. Hopefully we don't get a ticket because we did pay. But here we are at Fort DeSoto Park in St. Petersburg. Decided to come down here, do a little mini vacation and uh, see if we can't get on some fish for you guys. I've never been down here, very unfamiliar to these waters, but uh, we're gonna treat it just like we would any other pier. Get out here and try and figure them out. That's all we can do. So, it's a beautiful morning already. First thing I'm gonna do is hit the pier and uh, maybe talk to a few locals and see what they've been catching. The only thing we have today is artificials. So I have my tackle box. We'll be swapping out lures to see what. So you guys stay tuned and uh, let's see what we can do. I'm not even sure about redfish, uh, snook. I think they do catch snook here. I just don't know how, how, how often, like how plentiful they are here. All we can do is start fishing. Right now I have this Yozuri topwater tied on. It's in that bone color. Uh, should be good for early morning and uh, cloudy days. But let's just give it a cast out and I've only brought down one rod with me. Didn't want to like load the car up with a bunch of tackle and stuff. So right now, come on bird, don't do me like that. So yeah, we got this one rod with us and uh, that's gonna be the one that we use pretty much the entire trip. Got grass. So one thing I have noticed about this area is that a lot of people fish for mangrove snapper here. It's like, it's like the main thing that they fish for. All right, these birds down here are different. They'll actually get your lure. Our birds won't actually get your lure. See, they even got the sign there. Hook the bird, don't cut the line. These birds are different they'll actually eat your lure. All right, I did just see somebody catch a Spanish. I believe it was a Spanish mackerel. Let's just sit our stuff down. Give a few more casts with this Yozuri spook. And uh, if we don't get any hits on top, then we will switch it out. Must be ladyfish, they're kicking them back. Oh, they're catching ladyfish. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and switch this lure out. Feel like we're asking a little too much with that spook on. I feel like there should be a ton of fish here as far as like different species to catch. I have my camera off, but we ended up hooking this little speck. Really had to work for that guy. It's probably about 14 inches. Got to be 15 to keep. We're going to let him go. Appreciate you, buddy. Fish number one. Little speck came up and got the glass ghost. Huh. Thought it was a ladyfish, he was so small. 
There's a blitz out there going on right now. Wonder if it's ladyfish. They're actually coming this way. You want ladyfish? You want, what are you trying to catch? Uh, oh, okay. There's some fish blowing up right here. Might be, uh, it's either ladyfish or Spanish, not sure. Let's see. Fish skying out of the water right here. Get some activity, okay. Okay, Fort DeSoto. Show me what you got. See what these guys are. Oh, he hit it as soon as I started reeling. See what they are. Got one on, guys. He's staying down, too. Uh, looks like a little jack. Cool, cool, cool. Put up a good little fight. Little jacks. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Got our first little jack here. These guys are fun to fight. I mean, he put up a decent little fight on my eight foot rod and that dial with saltus, but fun to catch. Let's get him back. Thanks, buddy. Caught that guy on this glass ghost. Now, like I said, there's a ton of these little baits right here that they're feeding on. So, shocked that he was hungry enough to eat that guy. Shocked that he was hungry enough to eat that big lure. Let's get back out there, see if we can't hook another one. Is there not a rule as far as, as as to how close they can get to the pier on their boat? Huh? There's supposed to be some regulation, but they don't care. Yeah, they don't they don't follow the rules. That's wild. They come very close. Yeah. Wow. Look at how close these guys are coming to the pier. What is going on? Hello. How's it going? Do they always come this close to the pier? Do they? In their boats? Uh, I, yeah. Dude, this is going to make me upset right here. <laughs> These guys, they always come this close to the pier? Is that normal? Yeah. It is? Uh, most of the time is we get a lot of greenbacks. Like last week we got those green, uh, glass minnows. No, I'm, si I'm talking about these guys in the boat. Oh, yeah, they come over and grab uh, bait all the time. Are they allowed to? Yeah. yeah. They are? Oh, yeah. As long as they don't go under the bridge, it's fine. As long as they don't go under that bridge. There's always some that. I thought there'd be some type of rule, I mean. No. No. People come over here and grab the bait. There's no rule that you can't fucking hook them either. Look at this, guys. And he just ruined his net. Look, he just ruining his net. 
He's tearing his net up. Check this out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That net is done, dude. That is insane. You just shredded your net. Insane, dude. What a bunch of googans. It's a nice bait net, at least at least eight foot, maybe ten foot net, bait net just destroyed it. I've never seen something like this. Where I'm from in Pensacola, Florida, you have to remain at least 300 feet from the piers at all times if you're in a vessel. And uh, these guys, apparently it's normal. They come up here and they're gonna catch bait these guys aren't bothered by it i asked a couple of these locals if they were bothered by it they said no these guys do it all the time and different vessels come up here and catch bait but man they were so close i had to come and see what they were doing and uh he just destroyed his bait net that bait net was at least 200 bucks guaranteed <laughs> You guys drop a comment below. Tell me what you think about that little ordeal. Uh, he tried to cast at some bait and got hung up on the pylon. Uh, all the barnacles and everything. Uh, the captain of the boat starts backing up and he just rips all the mesh out of that net and destroyed that bait net. That's funny. <laughs> I came out here to catch fish. I didn't expect I was going to see that. I think they're kind of doing the walk of shame right now trying to figure out what they're gonna do as far as getting bait because they can't use that net that's hilarious wow well let's see what else we can catch we got a speckled trout and uh jack crevel let's see what else we can't pull out from this uh fort de soto pier that was funny you see what happened <laughs> i didn't see it but i yeah, he uh, he threw his cast net at some bait, and he cast it right into the piling, oh. and he caught all the barnacles and stuff, and the captain slams it in the reverse, and he rips that he rips that net to pieces. Yeah, just destroyed his net. What they get? Mm-hmm. Serves them well, man. You know, we're we're here trying to catch fish from the pier, and they come right where we're casting at and just mess us all up they got the whole gulf they got the whole gulf out there to fish insane yeah this is right where i was casting i walked right over here uh to see you know what was what was hitting the top out there and i ended up catching that little jack and i was gonna make my way back over here but these guys ended up showing up getting in the way Man, you got a boat. Why Why do you want to come right up close to a fishing pier? I understand it's an easy place to find bait at, but if you're if you have any type of experience fishing or boating, you know that you can go to anywhere close to the bank and eventually you're going to run into a school of bait that you can cast on. You don't have to go and uh, get in the pier fisherman's way. You don't have to go and just mess up other people's opportunities to catch fish. You got a boat. You have the advantage. Figure it out. And I own a boat, but here I am com complaining as a pier fisherman. I figured it out. They can figure it out. That's what fishing's about, figuring it out. All right, I'm done. <laughs> There's something we don't see a lot of back home. Manatees. It's pretty cool. There he is. Just came up for air right there. 
pretty neat. You guys are about to have a friend. There's a manatee swimming. It's, it's just a manatee. He's right here, coming your way. Wow, he went right up to him. He's harmless, he won't hurt you. <laughs> that lady got scared. <laughs> and there it comes up for another gasp of air. That's pretty awesome. She said he came close. <laughs> All right, guys. So the bite slowed way down as the sun came up, and uh, we weren't able to get on any more fish. I did end up leaving the pier and walking this seawall right here, where we walked up on some snook that were just chilling in the surf right here. Uh, I tied on a few different lures to try and get them to bite, but of course they weren't having it. So we went exploring a little bit, and but uh, St. Pete was a lot of fun. But the little vacation that I went on was a pretty cool one. Got to see a lot, got to do some fine dining in a couple of different restaurants, and uh, got out on the town and enjoyed myself. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, be sure to leave me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to drop a comment telling us what you thought about today's video. These guys pulling up close to the pier the way they did and just totally destroying their bait net. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. So uh, you guys be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, let me know if you want to see more travel videos where I go try out different piers. And uh, we show you guys a little bit different stuff than what we normally do. Maybe even throw some ideas out there as to what you guys would like to see me do. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching as always. And we will see you in that next one. Peace.